Jacobs and Nate, we're definitely starting to see some warm temperatures recently <laughs> after a long time. Uh, yeah, it did cool off pretty, it was pretty chilly, I think, mm -hmm. uh, yesterday and even this morning. But temperatures are rebounding, Sarah, as you mentioned. Uh, hey, here's a look at uh, Red Cliffs Lodge in, Lodge in Moab over the Colorado River. Uh, speaking of river rafting, I actually saw some rafts floating down the Colorado River a little earlier in this shot. Boy, it's only 55 degrees, pretty crisp and, uh, in fact, chilly. Of course, the water is very cold, but the air temperature is not uh, much better either. It'll be better tomorrow if you're going to be out on the, uh, the river uh, doing a little rafting. Up in the mountains, maybe you can do a little skiing first and then head down to the rivers. That's kind of the nice part about springtime as you get still some of that chance of uh, some skiing up at Snow Basin. Of course, the resort's closed now, but they're open until the 23rd. That's their closing day. We've already had a couple resorts shut down for the season. In fact, Beaver Mountain is closed. Eagle Point, Sundance is now closed as well with a few more weeks, maybe even three or four for some resorts, but most of them winding down the next couple of weeks uh, as uh, temperatures again are really starting to climb. In fact, we've got another warm up. Uh, you can see the impacts of the warm up we just had with those record high temperatures last week of 83 degrees. We were peaked at 30 inches of snow water equivalent across Utah. Now we're down to 27.6. Still a lot of water to melt off, but it was a pretty drastic drop with that big warm up in temperatures. We aren't going to get quite that warm with this next round of warmer weather that's moving in, but we'll take uh, some of the warmer temperatures. We're just a little bit cooler than normal. We're sitting in the upper 50s. Beautiful blue skies from University of Utah campus looking south. Uh, we are expecting uh, more flood concerns as we get into uh, the heat of our warm up. In fact, I think late Monday into Tuesday will be our biggest concern or our peak runoff with some of the snow melt on top of some additional moisture. We have a cold front that will bring a chance of some rain and it will bring a chance of moisture through about Thursday, primarily in the mountain area areas, I think, after Tuesday's cold front. High temperature trend, again, we should be in the low 70s starting on Sunday and Monday. We drop with the cold front, should start to rebound slowly. The cooler the normal temperatures will actually help us slow some of that melt versus the rapid uh, onset that we saw that last week. And we will have a bit of a warm up with the southwest flow increasing. Uh, this trough, I mentioned one out in the Gulf of Alaska moving into the Pacific Northwest. It's going to dive down this spring front, bring a chance of rain, as I mentioned, on Tuesday. Uh, this is Monday afternoon into Tuesday. Here comes a chance of moisture. Mountains will see snow valleys, primarily rain, especially Tuesday, but could see maybe a wintry mix Wednesday, Thursday with some cooler air filling in. We'll be under northwest flow and we will keep some clouds around. Not a huge chance of moisture on Wednesday and Thursday. Looking at uh, some of the temperatures down in southern Utah, St. George, 81 tomorrow. Gorgeous. Could see some, uh, again, potential runoff issues near some of the creeks and streams with uh, these warmer temperatures. 83 degrees on Monday, breezy winds on Tuesday as well. We dropped to 69 degrees on Wednesday, back into the low 70s on Thursday, upper 70s Friday, and 80 degrees again on Saturday. So a bit of a roller coaster ride, typical for springtime with some of those kite flying conditions. Lots of breezy winds expected uh, with some of the next systems moving through. Low 70s for the Wasatch Front Sunday and Monday. Plan on some showers on Tuesday, 53 degrees. Now, Immigration Creek expected to peak Tuesday evening, not only because of the warm up, but because some of the moisture on on top of those warmer temperatures could be just below flood stage at about 129 cubic or 127 cubic feet per second is the forecasted flow. Uh, flood stage is 130 cubic feet per second. Wednesday, rain snow chances with a slight chance on Thursday. Should see uh, improving conditions into Friday. We'll take off that rain snow chance. Should be partly cloudy and then 61 degrees on Saturday, partly cloudy as well. Wes and Sarah.